In this video, we'll go over lead code question number 26, remove duplicates from a sorted array. Given an integer array nums that is sorted in increasing order, we need to remove all duplicate elements in place, but there's a twist. Instead of actually removing the elements, we can just modify it. So let's say there are k unique elements in the array. Then all we need to do is make the first k elements the unique elements in sorted order, and the rest doesn't matter. Then we return k, the number of unique elements in the array. For example, if this is the array, we can see that there are only four unique elements, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and the rest are duplicates. So all we need to do is change the first four elements of the array to be 5, 6, 7, and 8, and return 4, the total number of unique elements. Now you may be wondering, why would we do something like this when we could just use the pop method that's built into Python lists? We could just traverse the list, compare each element to the one before it, and just pop duplicates until we reach the end. Now, this actually works, but the problem is that the pop method is very inefficient because once we pop an element, we now have to shift all the other elements one space backwards. Each shift runs in O of n time, and in the worst case, you'd have to do n minus 1 shifts. So this would run in O of n squared time. So instead, we'll use an O of n algorithm with two pointers and just overwrite the first k elements of the list instead. Let's look at the code and see how we can do this. First, we'll create an index variable called replace, which will keep track of which element we need to replace in the array. The first element by itself is already unique, so we can start this at index 1. Then we'll enter a loop that will again start at index 1 using the variable i. This variable will traverse through the entire list and find duplicates. Now, since we know that the list is already sorted, to find duplicates, all we need to do is compare each element to the one before it. If they're different, then we found a unique element, and if they're the same, then it's a duplicate. So let's enter the loop and compare the ith element to the one before it at i minus 1. 5 is equal to 5, so we found a duplicate. That makes this if condition false, so we actually don't need to do anything, and we just go on to the next iteration. Basically, we keep searching ahead until we find a unique element. Next, we compare 5 with 6, and we see that they're different. Now we enter the if block, and we'll overwrite the element at the replace index with the unique element that we just found. Then we'll increment the replace index so that it's ready to overwrite the next slot, and we move on. Now we compare 6 and 7, and again, they're different. So we overwrite the duplicate 6 with 7, increment replace, and move on. Next, 7 is equal to 7, so we just keep going. Finally, 7 and 8 are different, so we'll write the unique value of 8 at the replace index and increment replace. At this point, we're done with the loop, so all we need to do is return the total number of unique elements. But instead of going back and counting the unique elements, we can just return the value of replace, since it's been keeping track of the position of the last unique element that was written. Now you might say, isn't it actually one index past the last unique element? And you're right, but since indices start at zero, this actually ends up being the correct number of unique elements. So here, replace equals four, so we'd return four. And as you can see, there are in fact four unique elements that now take up the first four spots in the array.